Hello guys, so welcome to your channel which is Sai Engineers. This is Sushant. So congratulations to all the guys who have been allotted in the cap round 3 for the first time and also for those guys who have got their upgradation in the cap round 3. So in this particular video we are going to discuss about certain points which you should consider after your cap round 3. The first thing which you should do is if you are getting the allotment for the first time in the cap round 3 then you have to go to the nearest ARC for the documentation and the verification purpose. At the ARC you have to do the required documentation and verification for the confirmation of the seat. That is to be done between the dates of 25th July to the 28th of July. Mind you in cap round 3 you have only one option that is to freeze your seat. There is no longer going to be a slide or a float option because cap round 3 is considered to be the last round for the cap. So if you want to go for the institute then you have to go to the nearest ARC if you are getting it for the first time for the confirmation of the seat. Guys who have already got their allotment in the previous round and they want to go for that particular institute then they have to visit their institute, their respective institute within the dates of 25th to the 29th of July. This is to be done for the remaining fee payment that is to be paid and also for the other verification and documentation which is to be done at the institute level. So to confirm your seat you have to go to the institute to do the required documentation. The institute which you have to go is going to be the final allotment institute which is given to you that is for the cap round 1, cap round 2 or cap round 3 whichever institute you had freezed in any of these rounds then you have to go to that particular institute for the documentation and the balance fee payment. After this on the 31st of July there is going to be the display of the vacant seats which are available in different institutes. There is going to be an additional round which is going to be conducted for the vacant seats on the different institutes. These vacant seats will no longer be considered for any of the category. It's going to be decided on the merit list only. So all the candidates with a valid merit number can go for this particular round to get into their desired institute. The option form filling for this particular round is to be done freshly and that is to be done between the dates of 20, 31st of July to the 1st of August. For this the provisional allotment will be given on the 3rd of August and you have to directly report to the institute from 4th of August to the 6th of August. There is no longer going to be the ARC reporting for this particular round. You have to consider that your academic year is going to start from the 1st of August and 14th of August is the deadline given for any type of admission taken into various institutes regardless of the vacant seats. So people who are not satisfied with their allotment in the cap round 3 also then they can go visit the institutes of their choice and look out for the vacant seats available in different institutes. So mind you if you are not satisfied with the cap 3 allotment and you are not reporting to the ARC or you are not going and visiting the institutes so that particular seat will no longer be saved for you. If you are not going to visit the institute within the stipulated time then that particular seat will be given for the vacant seat round. Also people who do want to go into a specific institute they can do so by getting to know about the vacant seats available in that institute and they can fill up the institute level form. So you can go to the various institute to get more information on the seats available in that institute. So those were some of the points which you should consider after your cap round 3. So mind you again there is no longer a float and a slide option. So either you have to go for the freeze option and be satisfied with the institute which is allotted to you or you can go for the additional round which is available. So all the best with the decision making and all the best to all the guys who have successfully got into various institutes of their choice. So we have already started posting videos for your first year of engineering subjects like BEE that is basic electrical engineering, applied mathematics and also engineering mechanics. 
So all the guys from different universities can refer to them. You can post in the comment section what more videos you would like us to make. And also let us know how you find the videos which we are making for you guys. So do share, do like our videos and do comment to our videos so that it inspires us to make more videos for you. So if you're new to the channel, do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification button to never miss a video from us. So till then, keep learning, keep watching and happy learning. Bye and all the best for your decision and all the best for your first year of engineering. It's going to be hell lot of a journey now.